Hi guys, this is Miss Brene and today I'm going to read Pig the Fibber. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he would often tell lies just to get his own way. When he would fit, he was awfully clever. When Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat, and then he'd just point and say, Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase for the flowers and then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress and then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. That's not nice. Why do you do this to me, asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends, but Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig Sneaky's plan. He said, I was filled all the trees that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high, but before I can get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he let rip, it was thinking and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance and he climbed on the chairs. So trees will be mine and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those trees, wonder what's behind the trees, guys. Was an old bowling ball. Uh-oh. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig has stopped lying, hip hip hooray. He may have some bruises in one less front too, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. The end. Bye, guys.